We're Nervosa and we're here to talk a little bit of each song of our new album, our favorite things on each of them. Are you ready? All right, let's start with the intro. Anyone wants to talk about the intro of the, the album? I really like this song. Yes. The, the intro was amazing because Martin Furia have has an um, idea, great idea to put the pianos together with the guitars and this is, was fucking amazing. When I, when I was listening in the studio, it was fucking awesome and I was completely oh, happy and this is amazing. of the album. The lyrics of Horrorodon, they talk about uh, sleep paralysis. I watched the doc a documentary about it and I was crazy about writing lyrics about it and then when I talked to Prika about it that maybe it would be nice to have an intro about that, Prika was like that's good because I already yeah. have an intro, like, uh, uh, like some chords for an intro. That's why it's a creepy intro because it talks about sleep paralysis and then you've got the sounds like that some of people in sleep paralysis listen to. So that's they are connected. Intro and horror dome, they are connected. Yes, this is what this 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 noise was perfect to compose it. The intro it was perfect. Yeah. I think it's the best song to start the album because it, it already starts very fast, very loud with a loud ride. It's like a punch in the face to start the album. There's it's the best way. And now we have the single that you already know, Never Forget, Never Repeat, which is personally, I think, one of my favorite songs in my the album. My favorite song too. <laughs> it's the fastest, so come on, it's my favorite. Yeah, and the blast beats and everything. The blast beats, it's completely the fastest blast beats that I, that I ever made in my life, so it's... It's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's pretty aggressive to be a second song of, of an album because you have like Horror Dome, which is already like a punch in the face, and then you get like no breath, and then you get. It's really, really. Continue nice. the aggressive vibe. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. very yeah. death metal and brutal. Enslave, which is also one of my favorite songs on the album. I really, really like that song. I think our our producer Martin Furia said is the festival song to get people like jumping yes. and everything. <laughs> I like the groove of this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? Yeah, it, it's fun to play because it's not very fast like the almost all the album. It's like a break in the album and it's like very groovy and it's fun. It's more slow. There's like. Uh, different temples, it, it's very nice. Yeah, and there's my probably my favorite thing on the album, which is the oh my god, I love that. I was we were talking about like including this in like in some song, and then when she put that on that song, I think it just fit perfectly. Thank you, Luana. I like the, um, the melody of the riffs together with the voices. I think this is one of the best part of this album. I fucking love it. I'm completely happy again with this part. It's one of my favorite chorus ever. That's right. Yeah, and I remember you said it's one of your favorite riffs. Yes. Like, exactly, I like the melody. I think this album represents well, like briefly speaking, uh, about what I've tried new on this album, like vocal-wise. Before I would sing like a lot of high pitches on this album, I tried to vary like high pitches and low pitches, and I think bleeding really represents like I varied myself. It's, it's, it's really like it varies a lot. I think it really represents the idea I had in mind for vocals. In the end of And 
and we have Injustice for Whom. I really like this. I know I'm saying this in all in every song. I really like this song, but I really like Injustice for Whom. Yes, it's one of the most trash metal songs yeah. in this album, and I love it because of this. Because it's trash. Yeah, pure trash. Yeah, I was but with say. some some things with the death metal, of course, because one is completely death metal. <laughs> there is a blast bit in the middle of the completely trash. I'm amazing. Yeah, I really like. It's a very trash yeah. song. And the, the, it's very political lyrics, so if you like political, social, blah, blah, blah this kind of lyrics, yeah. People like like to ask for justice, but, but justice for whom? For your own interests or for, you know, like, global interests? All right, so that's what, <laughs> that's what this song talks about. Which I think is the, maybe the darkest, I don't know, one the of the slowest. darkest. No. The slowest. They're yeah. actually from Never Forget, Never Repeat, you have Vultures, that it's the slowest song in the album, which yeah. is pretty nice to me because I'm used to play it more fast and I practice the blast beats a lot for these recordings, but this song is like slow and hard to play, except for this fact. And we start with like uh, tribal tones in this in this song. It's also a song with different tempos and like complicated things to me that I never did before. So pretty nice. Pretty <laughs> nice. Pretty the, nice. Low, the, the, the slowest song in this album, and the picking art completely difficult to do it. And this is yeah a challenge for me, and I like it. Yeah, and she nails at it, right? She's very good. <laughs> I really like it's it all the time. Double picking, double picking, double picking. <laughs> all the time, no one will not. <laughs> really nice. 